Greetings everyone, we're in the final part of Sonic Spinball, so we're moving on to what's supposed to be the hardest level in the game, but Donnie does it faster than the last level, so yeah. <laughs> fuck this level, fuck this level, fuck Somebody this level. Somebody play the Castlevania ending mu- oh wait, never mind. <laughs> and then Dracula got away in his rocket ship. Well, oh yeah! <laughs> it, it's the hardest level and not the hardest level at the same time, because it's, it's easier to get to the, the Chaos Emeralds that are there, even if there are more of them. But at the same time, it's also easier to die. This chamber right here, the one you start in, in the showdown, is the most annoying chamber I have. I could, I could just encounter with in this game. I hate it. Just because there are so of how many ways. There are a lot of ways to die in the showdown. Yeah, one of the annoying things about this chamber in particular, though, is that they, they don't give you guidelines for the buttons you need to press to get the Chaos Emerald. They only give you guidelines for the Chaos Emerald and for the two side paths that you don't want to go down yet. <laughs> <laughs> Which I do go down, by the way. Uh... Yeah. What's with like... that Dr. Seuss-looking thing over there, anyway? <laughs> it's Robotnik sucks. Yeah, you're, you, this isn't going to be the last time you see those socks, by the way. Oh, uh, it's not. By, by the way, is there, a, is there a certain situation where when you go down that side path you don't get launched up by a rock? Because I could swear that's happened to me. Uh, the, in the, if you're in the, the main, like that chamber right there, you don't, the rock only comes up if A, you have come from the uh, bordering chambers, one of the boarding chambers, or if you manage to take out all the targets... So, uh, yeah, and trust me when I say this, you want to get rid of those, get rid of those targets ASAP. Yeah, <laughs> you know if you've done, you know, I'm sorry, Donia, uh, you know you've done something right when you see the, the top panel say rocks will shoot. Yeah. Huh. That's like the most straightforward message it's ever given yeah. me. <laughs> well, yeah. but you know, it, it, he's also blunt on the other end too. Like if you head on activate it and you're falling down that area, the, the prompt will say ready to fry, and then you die. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's cold. Yeah, it is really cold. I was so really... Oh, uh, well, actually, this place probably. has, like, lava in it, so I'm sure it's probably relatively... Shut warm. up, Ted! <laughs> 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 it shouldn't be lava, though, because technically Robotnik's ship is in the air, and... Uh... It, it, well, this shut is... Shut up, Dottie. <laughs> well, yeah, because the, the spaceship isn't really going anywhere. It's just... It's stuck. Well, what's happening is we're at the mouth of the volcano, basically, and he just shot out from the mouth of the volcano, which was where his spaceship was docked. But but, but the thing is, though, is that in the cutscene, you could clearly see that he was m flying pretty damn fast away from the volcano, so he shouldn't really be near the volcano by now. Yeah, well, then he realized that he didn't include enough thrust power to actually break atmosphere, so he's just sort of hovering, you know, awkwardly above the volcano, <laughs> like, go, go, Whoa, go higher, this is go a, this is Whoa, this is awkward. <laughs> Mr. I only Perfect. installed a neutral setting. Mr. F Physics Professor, why are you crying? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Planet Earth's gravity too good. <laughs> of, co of course, to be fair, uh, the lot magma was pre is pretty much part the main part of the plot because spoiler alert, uh, magma is pretty much what he's using to energize his robotic creations and help. Uh, I thought the animals, the animals powered his robots. So if he can it's, just use geothermal power, why does he even need to do all the evil capturing well, the animals well, bullshit? Well, you know, he needs to power the machines that he turns animals into robots with in the first place. Well, can't he just power those with the animals? Okay. Well, he could install a hamster wheel, but I the don't budget think it only works. allows for two double A's. <laughs> okay, what, what happened was, of course, it's pretty late to talk about the plot now, but what happened was Robotnik uh, Mount Mobius is the name of the volcano, and what happened was Robotnik you went to uh, roboticize it and turn it into his own fortress, the Vago Fortress, and the Vago Fortress is essentially serving to use the magma that's beneath the volcano to help power. Uh, his robots oh. and roboticize the uh, flickies and stuff. So, you having fun in that half pipe there? That happens to me all the time when I'm here. <laughs> it's never happened to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, fuck you, that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sonic, this is why you would never work with skateboarding. You got actually no. You you did well with skateboarding later on because you got all your practice from this fucking stage. Man, having trouble there, Donnie. <laughs> Really bad luck with this. It, it's it's because you have to do it in a certain angle. I love I love how it just says score as in like okay how much score. 
You got score. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been too much to actually program in different numbers. <laughs> what the hell? Whoa, Remix! How did you do that? I have no fucking clue. It's... it's been ball. And plus, I Like, the physics in this game start really betray me at this point. I'm not used to this stage. I <laughs> betray you? What, what are you, the physics lover? <laughs> does... does Spinball no, have a level select four. code? It has a level it skip code, I think, yes. Yeah, okay, it, so, it does have a level select. Yeah, so you could, um, so, uh, if you're, we're gonna practice for, like, super duper, uh, speed runs, you could, uh, just pick this level and, uh, try it as much as you want, uh, then. HDQ hype? Oh my god. It, you know, it's gonna be done for, like, a month by the time this goes up, right? <laughs> hype! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 11 more months to go, yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah, well, no, there's summer games done quick. Yeah, but that's not yeah. EGDQ, that's SGDQ. Gosh, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, by the way, in the uh, the uh, emerald you can get from jumping, uh, being flung out of the sock, there's actually a way you can get the emerald, again, sequence break, sort of, where you can bounce off the little, like, digits yeah. or whatever. And, you almost uh, managed it, but you didn't quite manage it. Yeah. It's a very, again, a very precise shot, but you can manage to get the emerald without even using the sock to fling you over there, so... Also, here we go again with the half-pipe fucking game. Uh, it's not really apparent because of just how well Donnie's doing, but... I, it it I goes without saying, like, the difficulty spike between the showdown and the machine is... obnoxious. It <laughs> like, is. It's an entirely different game at this point. Yep. I did actually learn later on uh, after I did this, but that but you can actually go onto the wing on top of the wings and uh, use the uh, blue like pods that fling you out when you get hit by the the uh, rocks and or the socks and stuff. Where did that rock come from? I know Nobody I knows. FT- Pinball. I, know I asked this in FTCR, but the rock just sort of <laughs> what? It's Sonic's magical rock, buddy. Hammer's face. Rock well, space. in any case, one has to question the wisdom of having a pinball machine in your spaceship, Robotnik. Yep. Oh, Donnie, spinball wizard. <laughs> Speaking of, I, I've started has calling... to be a twist. <laughs> <laughs> I've started calling this iteration of Eggman Robotnik Eggbotnik, because he's just sort of like this weird, awkward middle ground between uh, AOSTH uh, Robotnik and... Uh, and and the game cannon's Eggman design. The it's fuck like, is he, he? He's got the uh, shirt design from Robotnik, and he's got the uh, the black dead eyes from Robotnik. But he's the fat bald man with a regular shaped head uh, from the games. He also yeah. has really, really thick arms, uh, which I think. I'm trying to think which designs didn't have that. It's hard to tell because in game he's always on a robot or something. Smell my socks! I never understood what causes the socks to appear and what the switch on the bottom wait, is supposed wait, to do. Wait, wait, they seriously are his socks? I didn't notice that until yeah. now. That's he's got to have that... fucking gigantic feet. <laughs> the, pl- <laughs> the, uh, the plunger at the bottom pretty much just toggles the socks and stuff on and off. And also, if fun fact... There is a way you can kind of time it so they don't show up. Uh, earlier on, when you're starting off, it takes three hits. Uh, three plunger hits to kind of make a pathway open. Then it gradually goes up to four and then to five. Oh. So, so basically the difficulty is being ramped up as you're playing this boss. Ah, uh, yes. In other words, it's the only boss to actually do this. So... Also, well, yeah, because I, I never understood. Like, I'm hitting, I'm hitting the plunger button. Hey, that's cheating, you, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> I when I was playing this, I accidentally hit the pause button briefly because I was so, just, I was so focused on this that I wasn't really. Uh, you forgot how to breathe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this this level the, the, does this to you. The thing about this boss stage, though, is that it's fuck really... you, game. You had one hit left to go. Damn it! This boss stage is actually one of the, one, one of the hardest to, to actually fall out of, but also really annoying to get back into if you do fall out of it. Yeah. If you have good aim, I think you can at least get Sonic to land on like the weather balloons. 
uh, to bounce him back up to the wing. We could spin dash your way back up here. Yeah. You can I, you can spin dash your way into the pod and stuff to get in there. Yeah, it's from the side from the side. The pinball table gives you opportunities to to knock yourself up. Uh, from below, there are weather balloons to bounce up from. See, it took five hits this time to open up the pathway, whereas earlier it took only three. So. Mm -hmm. Either also, way, you got through it just fine. So. Is that, yep. is that and for time the third... sensitive, or something that that's decided by how many times you hit him? It, it's also sort of time sensitive as well for the socks to show up, but it takes well, a little I, bit. So. I, I mean, does the does does the number of uh, button presses you need increase as time passes or as you hit yeah. him? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it goes as time like uh, as you. I, I think it's more so how you uh, how many times you hit him, okay. rather than time passes. Uh, by the way, that was actually the third time in a row. I mean, Sonic this and without... Sonic and Eggman should be falling at equal rates because. Uh... <laughs> what were you saying, Daddy? <laughs> this was this is actually the third time in a row I managed to beat this game without losing a single life. Uh, the well, first time to was show a... how well you play the game. Yep, the first time was the Sonicathon. The second time was the uh, FTCR run. I don't know when that's going to be going up as of this recording, but. Uh, and then the third time was this, so... Hey, I guess we're supposed to understand Sonic Spinball as canonically the last game in the series because Eggman dies. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? No, Robotnik dies. <laughs> yeah, Robotnik dies. Eggman lives on. Eggbotnik dies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Archie. <laughs> I feel, I feel bad, you know what I feel bad most of all? That volcano. Like, that volcano was just chilling around, he's like, okay, I'm a volcano, and then Robotnik just comes around, and he's like, Hi, I'm Robotnik, and he just... And then Robotnik comes here, and fucks me in the ass. <laughs> yeah, and, and the then... will be okay, it's just an underwater volcano now. And then a hedgehog <laughs> literally does go right up my ass, because he comes... <laughs> because he does technically uh, start spinball from below, like, the in the sewer system beneath the volcano, so... <laughs> kind of wish we weren't ending spinball on the worst piece of music in the entire fucking series. Someone argue otherwise... What the the credits theme or is this the yeah, options? The, 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 yeah. the, the credits and the options theme are the same thing. Yeah. Rest in peace, uh, headphone users. You know, I will argue a case for uh, uh, Sonic 06 Hub World a mission theme as worst piece of music in the series. Which one? Uh, the one that plays like when you're talking to a mission person. Hey. No, I like uh, that one. Oh, you mean the hey. one that plays for like three seconds for the two lines of dialogue <laughs> they have before yet another loading screen? Hey. Yeah, that one. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but maybe I only think about that because the only part I ever hear of it is the first two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, considering all of them just go A, I think it's pretty much official that uh, all the characters were... Oh, that's, on. that's but, what you were saying. I was sort of wondering what the fuck you were saying. It means all, <laughs> all, all, the, all the characters in uh, Sonic 06, all the humans, are voiced by Fonzie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a... Hey. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> well job, uh, job, well job done, Donnie. <laughs> well job done, well job done Donnie. I'm still a little fatigued, as you couldn't tell at this point. But uh, good job, son guy. Good job, son guy. <laughs> the point still applies. <laughs> you did good, son. Yeah. <laughs>